Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something different. Um, I've never done this on my channel, but I'm going to start. I think it's a great idea. I am going to be using all of July's products and come up with a look. Now this is how I keep all of my subscription box items every month. As you can see inside, everything that we received is in there. Minus the skincare that I keep in my bathroom so that I use it. Um, I have a little, actually it's a uh, utensil, eating utensil tray in my bathroom that I keep all of my skincare in with my boxes so that I can use them throughout the month. But today we're going to go ahead and use the items that I received in July and go ahead and come up with a look. The palette that we're going to use is the Huda Beauty palette. Just for the simple fact that I have a subscriber that asked me to do a look with this palette. So we're going to go ahead and do that for her. But let's go ahead and just start with the items that I need for my face. I'm going to start out with the Brighten Concentrate Oil from Red Earth. Now, I do not remember which boxes what came in, but uh, at the beginning of next month when I do my review, of course you will see which items came in what boxes. But, we're just going to go ahead and do that and see if we can't come up with a look from July's subscription boxes because I think that that is a neat idea to incorporate the boxes into a look and let y'all see exactly how those items perform for yourself. I mean we can sit here all day long and let y'all know that this is what we think about them, this is how they perform for us. So I want y'all to just watch how they perform that would be a video that I myself would watch so I hope that y'all enjoy the new idea of a video that I've come up with next I'm going to go ahead and use the pretty filter water full glow cream now I did say that this was not a good cream for your face I have since then hit up one of the people that I watch on YouTube. Her name is Leanne Serrano. I hope that I do not butcher that. Um, I did get in contact with her and ask her about this cream after I found the alcohol in it. And she said that this was fine to use on your face. So I take back what I said about not using this on your face. Please do go ahead and use it. It does feel good. You can smell the alcohol in it. But as she said, they are fatty alcohols, which are not bad for your face. So, and it goes on great. And I like Touch and Soul products, so I was glad that I actually can use this on my face. And as always, I do have my little fan on just for the simple fact that it is warm in here. The next thing I'm going to use is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. In between these steps, you need to kind of let your face dry down and let all of those products absorb. so that they do exactly what you need them to do as far as your makeup, putting on your makeup and it's sitting the right way. This stuff smells wonderful. I am glad that I received it. I do know that I received that in my Ipsy Glam bag, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to tell y'all exactly what 
every product was that I received in which box. It's I received quite a few, so. And I'm in my early 40s, so time is against me and my mind. <laughs> um, but I do like this primer. I do feel like it is nice and hydrating. And the watermelon smell, I do appreciate. In summertime, it smells great. So, there is that. The next thing I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to fill in my pores. Now, I just recently purchased this. I do have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I am not a big fan of this. I feel like it does not do what I need it to do. This, however, works great. Um, they are very similar, but... I feel like that the e.l.f. works much better and for $8, I'm super impressed by it. The $52 I paid for this, I do regret buying. That is Jersey, if y'all can hear her. We did get rid of the other puppies. We have two left. Jersey is the one that my daughter is keeping and then we have one that is waiting for her daddy to come home from deployment to pick her up. But. We're going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, or Poreless Putty, to fill in my pores. The mark on my face is almost gone. You can still almost see it, but it is healing. I do find that this works great to fill in old piercings, um, the holes in my face from that. I do like how this fills those in. Um, I do have quite a few holes from sticky needles in my face for face jewelry. Um, I did have the middle pierced. I had snake bites, I had the Marilyn Monroe, um, I had my eyebrow done, and I had my nose done. And those holes are never going to go away, but I do find that this does a great job at filling those in. I don't feel like they are as noticeable as they usually are without using a fill-in primer. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some kind of foundation on. I'm going to use the Fit Me by Maybelline. It's the Dewy Smooth normal to dry and my color is 220 natural beige this is what that foundation looks like with that primer you need to give about 10 seconds or so for it to go ahead and do what it needs to do as far as when you put it on your face All right, and as you can see, I love how that primer just makes my face, the texture on my face is not as bad. My pores look not as bad. So, I really am liking that primer. The next thing I'm going to be using is, actually I'm going to go ahead and use some of 
I'm not a real big fan of the shape tape, but I am going to go ahead and use it today. I'm going to use the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape in Fair as my concealer. Oh, that was a lot. That's a look. <laughs> My daughter swears by that concealer. I'm just not a great big fan of it. I like the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. That's the one I prefer. But to save time and effort and energy, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one today. And I do go ahead and do my concealer on the lids of my eyes um, just for the added feature of priming them. I also use an eye primer, but I do go ahead and put my concealer on the tops of my eyelids. I've always done it. So it's just how I do. Yeah, I got way too much of that on there. Okay. See, I just don't... I don't know if it's the color of that concealer or the thickness of it. I'm just not a big fan of it. It's not my favorite. Then I'm going to take my LA Colors Translucent Setting Powder and set my under eyes. I have learned that if you take your powder and tap it out on your hand. You don't get that cakey, powdery look. It's a more flawless look. Now I'm going to take my powder and set the rest of my face. Now, I have been using the Laura Mercier powder, loose powder, forever. Um, I recently just picked up this LA Colors, and I'm really liking it. Uh, I feel like I use less powder with it. So, if you have not tried it, go out and try it. Um, this one is rather expensive. This one's like five dollars so you know okay now once I get all that done I do go ahead and set my powder in my face and I always take my sponge and just tap it in to keep from looking so powdery I feel like that method really does help keep it from looking powdery and crazy so okay so there's that and the next thing we're going to take out of here is the Pacific Pacifica blush and bronzer that we got this month this is not my favorite bronzer. Um, I feel like it's a little bit too light for my skin tone. I'm already rather darker than some people. Um, 
so I feel like it doesn't show up as well as, say, my butter bronzer that is a uh, staple. And I've quit using my Marc Jacobs bronzer. I feel like that is better for in the winter time. And that's just me personally. So then I'm going to take the Manicadar contour blush thing that we received this month and contour with that. Like I said, I do like the color of this. The only thing I don't like is how small the pan is. Um, but as far as the color, I love the color. I feel like this is a great contour color. Especially for me and my skin tone. I do like this color. I just don't like the pan size. get done contouring I do go ahead and blend all of that together either with a powder brush or a small kabuki brush I feel like the finished look looks so much better when I do that now I'm going to take the let's see. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use the goddess eyebrow palette that we received this month. Now I don't use the brush that came with it. I feel like it's too big for my taste. I do use this brush. This is what I'm used to using um, for my eyebrows, so that's what I will be using. Eyebrows are my hardest thing to do. Um, sometimes they turn out alright, and sometimes they turn out crazy. Today looks like one of those crazy days that I'm going to have with them. Go ahead and go back into the Pacifica blonde or blush and use it. This is not my favorite blush, um, and it's not even for the fact that it has shimmer in it. I just don't prefer this color um, on me. Again, I will take my powder brush and just mingle all of that together. I feel like that gives it a well blended look. I find that that's how I like to do it, so that's just how I do it. 
Then I'm going to take my makeup base for my eye primer. I do recommend that if you're going to be using color other than neutral colors on your eyelids that you use an eyeshadow primer if you worry about staining your eyelids or any of that the primer does help keep from doing that so if you've never used an eyeshadow primer I do recommend that you use one it does come in handy if you don't want to get up the next day and have pink eyelids or red eyelids or blue or whatever color that you've used and then I put translucent powder over the top of my primer so that my eyeshadows blend together and do what they need to do going to take the Huda Beauty palette. This is the Mauve Obsessions palette. I know that I received this in my Ipsy Plus this month. That is what that palette looks like. I have been playing with it a little bit, but we're going to just jump in here and see what we can come up with. I'm going to take the brown in the middle for my transition color. which I will say that in the pan it looks brown and once you get it on your eye it's a totally different color it's like a purple brown color as you can see I don't know if the camera picks that up exactly but it doesn't look the brown color that it does in the pan Then I'm going to take this pinkish color next. I've been very much into pinks and reds and mauves lately, um, which to me would normally be fall colors. But uh, I've been loving them for a minute now. <laughs> I don't understand it, but that's what I've been into for the moment. Okay. Now I'm going to take this deeper maroonish color and stick that on the V of my outer lid. I do also want to say hello to all of my new subscribers that have recently joined. I do appreciate the support and uh, you joining. I hope you do stick around. Um, see all the new things that I'm doing. I am trying to change up things and not just be about unboxings. I mean, those will still be on there, but... I'm wanting to get more into makeup and reviews and that kind of thing. 
So, just stick around because we'll be changing. Okay, now I'm going to take this shimmer right here and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. I'm going to take the, uh, actually I think I'm going to take the stain brush that I just used and do it with that one and see how that performs. I've only used this palette a few times since I've received it. Um, I do think that the colors are very pretty, but I don't, there's only so many looks you can do out of it, which was what my subscriber was talking about. And at the time, I didn't understand because when I looked at it, I'm like, there's so many colors, um, there's so many things you can do with it. But not really. I mean, it's pinks and mauves and brownie colors. So, it is a pretty palette and it does make some very pretty looks. But they're all kind of the same look. You can do it in different ways, but you're still coming off with the same thing. And there is a ton of fallout with this palette, especially with those shimmers. Okay, now I'm going to take just a regular pencil brush into this lighter shimmer color. And I'm going to stick that on my inner corners. But even that, I mean, as you can see for yourself, it doesn't really show up. It doesn't give me that pop that I want. Uh, it's just a subtle color. And for the lower lash line, actually, we're going to use one of the Lexi brushes that we received this month to do the lower lash line. Okay, I'm going to use this top mauve purple color. For the lower lash line. Just to give my eyes that definition of color. And then on top of that, I'm going to put that pinky coral color down there also, just so that it's not as dark and it still ties in to the upper lid color so that you don't look crazy by having all that dark down there. Okay, so there's that. I'm also going to pick a different color for my inner corner because like I said, that's not the pop that I'm wanting. That is more of what I was looking for and that palette just doesn't have it. Now I'm going to take some different color and do my eyebrow bone. I don't know where I received this from. 
I've had it for a while and it is exclusively for my eyebrow bone. I think it's a beautiful color for that. It's not too wild. Let me see if I can see what that says. It says Restless. It's a L'Oreal High Intensity Pigments. It's number 918. So that is what that looks like. And like I said, I've had it forever and it's still got quite a bit of product in it. And I love it for my eyebrow bone. I think it's the perfect color for up there. All right. Now we're going to go in and use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyelight. Excuse me, eyeliner in black. I do like this eyeliner. It does stay put for a very long time. You can also smudge it out if you want to. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is take the eyelash curler that we received and curl my lashes. Like I said then, I was not very welcoming of this. Um, this is not something that I would like to receive in a subscription box. But that's just me. Then I'm going to take our Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension for my mascara. I will say again, I do love the formula of this. And it gives me great volume of my eyelashes. I mean, as you can see, that's just the top of one. And there's the lower lash line. I mean, it's a dramatic difference. And it's such a great formula. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It doesn't flake off. Um, it wears well throughout the day. And I just, I personally like this mascara a lot. I feel like it separates my lashes nicely. It's just a good all around mascara, in my opinion. Now we did get two different lipsticks this month. We got the Ofra Santorini, and then I got the Caitlyn and Heather this is more of a pinky color and this is more of a purplish color so we're going to we're going to swatch them and see which one we're going to use they are very close in color as you can see this is the santorini and this is the heather I think I'm going to use the Heather. I think that that will go better with the look I have created. So we will use that. I do use a lip liner. I think that they work better with a lipstick. I think. I think they work as a barrier 
for liquid lipsticks so that they don't run all over your face. This is not the creamiest lipstick ever that I have ever used. It is rather rough and it pulls on your lips to get the color payoff that you want. But the color is beautiful. It's just a little difficult to work with. So there is that color. Now we're going to do some highlight. Um, we got the Wonder Beauty Catch the Light. And then we got the Becca highlighter, which mine came broken. I have repressed it. It's still not staying together the greatest, but at least now I can actually use it. Not really into liquid highlighters. Um, and I had never used anything like this, but I really do enjoy this highlighter. It's a very natural looking highlight, in my opinion. And it does not remove your makeup like... Sorry guys, the uh, camera shut off just like I said it was going to. Um, I don't know where it shut off, but uh, the Glazing Lip by Ciate London, I think is just beautiful. It gives enough um, shine to complement your lips. So I do find it very nice. I'm also going to take the Pixie Glow Mist and just set my face. Like I said, I already used this. So it's nothing new. Um, I am glad that we do have a backup. This is not the one that we received. Uh, we received the smaller bottle of it. This is already the one that I had going. So it's very nice to have a backup. <clears throat> but nonetheless, there that is. And I do like how it does on the face. So there is the look that I came up with with my Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. Like I said, it uh, there's not a whole lot that you can do with this palette. I mean, they're beautiful colors and the palette is nice, but it is pretty pretty basic like she said. Basic is not bad at all. And it's pretty, it, you know, it sits well, they blend well. So if you got this palette, you know, just play around with it. Try different things. Um, I didn't have a Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. So it was nice to get something new that I've never tried before. But this is my look that I came up with using our July items. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that this was... Um, something that you enjoyed watching. I was kind of nervous about doing it. Um, but at the same time, this is a video that I myself would watch. So I went ahead and did it. So on that note, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Possibly subscribe if you haven't already. Come back and see everything that I'm putting out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is the Butter London palette to try something new on it. I might incorporate another palette. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did enjoy making it for you. And until next time, I hope you have a great day and you stay beautiful. Bye.